Are you ready to unlock the secret to world-class mead? Oak aging can take your mead from forgettable to unforgettable, adding depth and complexity and flavors that rival the finest wines. But here's the catch. One misstep can ruin it all. Stick with me, and I'll show you exactly how to harness the power of oak to create mead that's balanced, bold, and competition ready. Did you know that the type of oak used in barrel aging can actually influence the flavor of mead? Different oak species can impart unique notes like vanilla or spice that can completely change your drink. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring oaking and barrel aging in mead. Whether you're new to using oak or experimenting with barrels, this technique can transform your mead. Achieving the right balance takes finesse, and that's exactly what we'll cover. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more mead making tips. Plus, grab my free ebook, Mead Making at Home Easily. It's linked in the description or pinned comment below. Oak does more than add wood flavor. The tannins provide structure and dryness, balancing the sweetness. It adds complexity, like notes of vanilla, cedar, and light spice. Barrels used for spirits like whiskey or bourbon bring caramel, smoke, and other exciting notes. Oak also enhances mouthfeel and aging potential. It creates a smoother, fuller body, adding a luxurious texture. Oaked aged meads evolve over time, with flavors becoming more integrated. In barrels, tiny amounts of oxygen soften tannins and reduce harshness over time. That's called micro-oxidation. Timing plays a crucial role in oaking success. Timing plays a crucial role in oaking success. During primary fermentation, adds tannins, but may lose delicate flavors due to yeast activity. Secondary fermentation, the best time to add oak for more precise flavor control. Bottle aging, use oak chips or spirals to add subtle finishing notes. Just monitor it closely to prevent over-oaking. So what's oak's role in mead styles and competitions? In competitions, following the BJCP guidelines, Oak should complement the honey and other ingredients, but not dominate. If oak flavors overwhelm the mead, it may fall into the experimental category. Think of it like a well-oaked Chardonnay. Oak enhances, but doesn't overshadow. Each type of oak brings unique characteristics. French oak gives subtle, refined flavors, great for delicate meads. American oak brings bold, pronounced flavors, ideal for spiced or boche meads. Hungarian oak, unique and exciting profiles, excellent for experimental batches. The level of toasting also plays a role. Light toast adds soft vanilla and mild wood notes, perfect for floral or light fruit meads. Medium toast brings caramel and gentle spice, great for sizers. Heavy toast introduces Deeper flavors like coffee and smoke, ideal for bouchets. Pairing oak types with specific meads enhances the final product. Traditional mead, French oak for subtle complexity. Melomels or fruit meads. American oak complements bold fruits like cherries and blueberries. Sizers, apple mead. Medium toast oak draws out caramel and baked apple notes. Bouchets, caramelized honey mead. Heavy toast oak enhances coffee, toffee, and roasted nut flavors. Different forms of oak for mead makers. You don't need a full barrel to experiment with oak. Barrels for large scale aging. Chips, cubes, staves, strips, spirals for faster aging with more surface area. Powders and extracts are convenient for quick infusions. If using smaller barrels, like I do, I used, a lot of times use a small bout cones, five barrel, five gallon barrel. Keep a close eye on your mead as they extract flavors faster. How long to oak mead? Here's some practical guidelines. The duration of oaking impacts flavor and intensity. Chips and cubes, between two to four weeks with regular tasting to prevent overpowering. Spirals and staves, between four to six weeks for slower flavor development. Barrels several months to a year, depending on the size and the toast level. Monitor them closely. Powder and extracts. Just a few days or a week. These work very fast. And by the way, more beer has a lot of these extracts now. Always sterilize oak to avoid contamination. 
Boil chips or cubes. A quick boil removes dust and sanitizes. Soak in spirits like whiskey, vodka, brandy. That sanitizes while also adding additional flavor. You can oven bake. Bake staves or spirals at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 93 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. If you want to experiment without oak products, try these alternatives. Grapevines used in winemaking to mimic oak's effects. Tea leaves or spices. Black tea adds tannins and cinnamon adds warmth. Maple or cherry wood introduces subtle sweetness for experimental batches. Monitoring and adjusting oak levels mid-fermentation. If oak flavors become too strong during aging, you can back off early. Transfer the mead to another vessel to halt the extraction. Blend. Combine oak mead with unoaked batches to balance flavors. Add oak later. Introduce more oak during secondary fermentation if needed. Here's how to address common problems with oak. Bitter or harsh flavors. Blend with a milder mead or allow more aging to mellow the taste. Too much tannin. Use a fining agent like betonite or gelatin to reduce astringency. Lack of oak flavor. Add more oak or use a higher toast level for a stronger impact. But risk harsh flavors. Cooler temperatures slow down extraction, allowing subtle flavors to develop. High humidity in barrels increases oxygen exchange and can enhance aging while dry conditions lead to faster evaporation. Oaking is an art that requires precision. The key is to balance oak's complexity with honey's delicate flavors. Whether using barrels, chips, or spirals, patience and monitoring are essential for a perfect final product. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, hit the like button and subscribe for more mead making tips. And don't forget to download my free ebook, Mead Making at Home Easily. And let me know in the comments what type of oak or creative method you have tried in your meads. And if you're interested in more tips, check out my other mead making videos over here. Until next time, happy mead making.